the Skarner rework is finally live, which means it's time for the playing Skarner until I win one game challenge extreme edition. You won't believe what happens next. Not clickbait challenge. The most difficult part of reworked Skarner is actually getting to play reworked Skarner because 90% of the time people are either banning it, picking it first, or dodging these stupid cues. I mean, in all this time, I probably could have looked up how to actually play the rework, but nah, let's just get in the game. Playing Skarner comes with some great advantages. You get to pick up a big old rock and chuck it at people, and it does a lot of damage. Uh, you're a scorpion, so that's cool. Uh, unfortunately, just like the rock you pick up, your brain turns to rock, and you just kind of walk in a straight line into a scion queue, for some reason. However, scion, if you knew the lore of Sharima like I do, you would know you don't mess with a scorpion. Okay, buddy. So now I gotta mess you up. I gotta save face. I gotta redeem myself. It's it's not my fault. You chose this. Just like how Lilia chose to get wrecked by my incredible Skarner. My incredible Skarner mechanics. Fools call Skarner bad because of a 38% win rate. I look at the intangibles. Watch as he drags two unwilling victims over to Renata after finding out no one would sample her poison gas. I mean, that's a good guy. It's not all about doing damage and having late game viability. Sometimes you gotta look at the intangibles. Wait, crap, I won already? I'm not gonna get any view time out of this. This is gonna be what, like a minute and a half video? Nah, we gotta change the challenge. Playing Skarner until I win two games challenge extreme edition. You won't believe what happens next, not clickbait. Ooh, I know what you're thinking. One for all, that's a little cheeky, but we'll allow it, because we respect you. Plus, Skarner one for all? Kind of unstoppable, right? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? It's not like they might ever figure out that their spell shield basically cancels out our entire kit, and they can just cue us because we're big ol' scorpions with visual indicators that tell you where we're going. <laughs> Skarner Orn bot, right? It's genius. His Q becomes the terrain I smash them into. The only problem was, it was bad. But so are 95% of the comps I try. We do get this kill though. This double kill. Come here, Leona. Leona. How did you... I'll take it. Here they have me dead to rights, but what they don't realize is that most of the nomadic inhabitants of Jerima search for basic sustenance in an unforgiving land. I'm not sure why they ever thought they could dive without knowing that. Truly embarrassing. And that was all the fun we had in that game. If you want to see more of that game, go ahead and watch Toxic Team Chat Theater Episode 2, Return to Middle School. Otherwise, go ahead and like and subscribe. Perhaps leave a comment. You could comment anything. Your favorite sport. Your favorite league champion. How this would never happen in your ELO. Anything. Go for it. Leave five comments if you want. There's really nothing stopping you. Just like... There's nothing stopping me from securing this kill from the Guav Guav. Okay, fine. I'll gank him and make it up to him. Although I did kind of use a lot. You know what? I'm going to take this one too. Little did I know that the gods of League would not only punish me in this game, but that retribution would carry over into the next. That's right. They forced me to not have smite. So now I have to go support Skarner top. Yep, because if I go in the jungle, I get zero experience. So guess what? This is another loss. Gosh, I just want to not play Skarner. But here I am, forced into another Skarner game. Darn. <laughs> It'll be a shame when I win this and the challenge is over. Okay, fine. This one doesn't count. Plus, we lose this one anyway, so... Oh, well. I'm starting to think that I might not be able to uh, cheese this one. I might have to go into this genuine and play a real Skarner jungle game. The problem is he just feels terrible, right? I mean, there's some cool plays you can get with his ult and he can do some stuff occasionally, but you start out so slow that it's pretty easy to avoid. Your ult has a one and a half second wind up, so anyone with mobility can avoid it. I just, I think there's gonna need to be some heavy tweaking soon. Maybe the build path I have right now is terrible, I don't know, but I just don't feel like it's that good. Maybe I'm crazy. But enough of the boring commentating on the actual champion and talking about the game. Let's get back to the useless commentating on things that make no sense. Like, maybe this Katarina thinking she had a chance of killing me. I mean, does she not realize that the city of Shurima has risen again? 
Embarrassing. Holy crap. Holy crap, I think it's happening. I think it's happening. <laughs> yes. Woo! Mm. Yes! Now I can go back to playing 80 bar top. <laughs>